Oruto, Naruto Next Generation. <laughs> so what the frick? Y'all came to the wrong video, boys. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the freaking hyped one year anniversary with special campaigns. And so today, let's have a look through what these special campaigns are. I think I haven't seen a couple of these before, so it is pretty exciting. And so it looks like on top of that, we are going to be getting one of our age old questions that have been around since the beginning of time answered, and that is whether V Shizuru or Muimi is going to come first. It's V Shizuru. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, that's supposed to come before it. Anyway, welcome everybody to Princess Connect's first anniversary event. However, the spicy thing I see about this is that this is special update one. I feel like there might be a special update two or three, or maybe we'll just go special updates up until the second anniversary. I don't know. And so with that being said, let's move on and have a look at what we have in store for the first anniversary. First of all, we have Valentine Shizuru and I have some pretty spicy content coming up for Valentine Shizuru. So stay tuned and so make sure you guys are subscribed so you can see that that will be coming probably in the next 12 hours and if you guys aren't subscribed yet then uh, I don't know man I don't know what to say bro anyway moving on Jan 18 so that is coming in about six days and that is going to last for another two weeks Valentine Shizuru is for most people a must roll however I do have some like decisioning that I can help you through again in my next video and so we'll save the review the evaluation and all of that for that one there Moving on. Next, we have something that I would call that is pretty spicy. It's it's honestly actually pretty funny. So it is the first anniversary special login bonus, the Land Ossal Cup. So in this Land Ossal Cup, it's very, very similar to like that fortune stick that we've been doing with the princess luck or bad luck or fair luck or whatever. Essentially, nobody really loses. It's just that there are some people who just win harder. That's all. But yeah, so for the next 14 days, we will be getting this every time we log in. And every time we log in, we will be greeted with four heroines. And so essentially, we are just going Going to be betting on which heroine is going to win. This is horse racing in pre-con. They somehow did a Uma Musume collab. Who would have thought that this would have been the collab that we've all been waiting for? But yeah, like I said, there's no real losers. There's only harder winners. So 500 jewels for first place and 250 jewels for fourth place. That's pretty lit. And so that is going to run across 14 days, meaning that the minimum and maximum, let's work that out real quick. It means that at minimum, you will be getting at least 3,500 gems, which is a 22 roll, 22 rolls. Yeah. And at maximum, we... That's not right. What the frick is wrong with my math? What the heck? At maximum, we will be getting 7,000 jemmies, which is quite a fair bit, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that's like top 50 in CB, 7K jemmies. That is an insane amount of rolls. Actually, you know what? How, let, me, let me just quickly work that out. 46 rolls for hitting first place. Uh, obviously, that's the max cap. We can't really expect to, you know, luck sack into first place every single time. But if you guys do manage to do that, I don't know, record them or like take screenshots, show me. I need to see some of your luck sacking so that I can just be a little bit more salty myself. Anyway, so again, this bad boy is going to run from 119 all the way to 2-2. So it's looking like a pretty good time to start the game, but it's never really a bad time to start this game. All right, moving on, we've got the first anniversary campaign in which we are getting a whole bunch of limited first. Furniture. I know in my recent 2022 beginner's guide, I was like, oh, you can't FOMO out of things. I, I guess you can. They they really uh, they really outdid me this time, huh, Crunchyroll? So not overly much to talk about over here, but like on top of this furniture, we're also going to be getting permanent furniture for the three heroines from Gourmet Guild. And I don't know if you guys know, but there is actually a hidden stat called cuteness of your guild house. And you can actually increase this stat by 500% if you... <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Oh my God. Ignore that. Just ignore that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So the new furniture will be available. This limited furniture will be available from 122 through to 214. So this is the double daily mission stamina. It's actually been a very long time since we've had something like this. I'm I'm pretty sure we've only had it once before. But essentially, you guys know how we get stamina, 100 stamina two times a day. That is going to be doubled across a certain period of time. So, so from between 118 through to 131. That is 13 days of double stamina. That is pretty freaking lit. I'm pretty sure that also overlaps with CB and a lot of this event as well, as well as like the three times normal, I think. So it's going to be good. It's going to be very much needed. All right. So just moving down over here, we have the Valentine story, which is featuring Reno, Valentine Shizuru and Valentine Eriko. So last story, we had New Year's Ray, where it was kind of recommended that you would actually sink in more stamina, even like refresh three times to get maybe a four star New Year's Ray. Some people went really freaking ham and went five star New Year's Ray. I wasn't one of them. I just settled with a four star. As much as I like her, I like my roles more. <laughs> I'm a freaking degenerate, aren't I? And so that begs the 
the question, is Valentine Erica worth refreshing for? I would say generally speaking, not really. So let's have a quick look at her kit. So my guys, welcome to Valentine Erica. So let's start off with her Union Burst. Inflicts physical damage to one enemy in the front. And then this damage is based on Erica's current HP. Low HP equals large damage. All I see here is enmity. All I, all I can think about is Saren. And I am not a fan of this. This is never like a good idea, especially in Princess Connect. It's almost always in our best interest to be healthy. Like none of the timelines, none of the mechanics, none of the things that we do, like our methods of working or like playing this game, do they actually rely on being on low HP. Obviously you can go be a pioneer and actually try utilize this and maybe you, I don't know, pair it up with shields and stuff, but it's actually just unfortunately really, really hard to be able to get this off and like consistently off. So with that, let's move on to the skill one over here, which is inflicts medium damage, physical damage to one enemy in the front. And again, it is going to be enmity based. Uh, what the skill two look like? Skill two looks like inflicts physical damage to self. Physical attack buff to self. Buff effect is based on Erica's current HP. Okay, this is um, this is insane actually. I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of taking like the worst of Ilya, the worst of Saren, and putting it together. It makes me a little bit nervous. And I forgot to mention Holiday Ayana as well, so a little bit of a sprinkle of that. Honestly, guys, if you want to play with fire, uh, like this is it. If you want to burn your house down, I think this is it. I use Ilya four star, and I already know how freaking risky that is, and like it is actually really. really Risky. And that risk always realizes into like these freaking issues, these freaking problems, because my Ilya just ends up dying, whether it be like an unlucky crit on my side or like the enemy gets critting on my side, like Tsumuki does a big slam, my Ilya does the big die. Ilya is enough for me, my guys. And so I don't think um, Erico Valentine is worth going for like the four star or whatever. All right, aside from that, like just looking at the moveset pattern over here, like I, honestly, I'm not, I don't even want to look at it. I, I don't want to use her. I'm so sorry, Erico. I like like you, but I don't like you that much. And so with that being said, the conclusion for this is uh, don't dump your excess stamina into the Erico shards. Like yes, finish the hard mode ones, but don't dump your excess into like the 110 or 115. I can't remember what it was. All right, so that's Erico there. Uh, next, we do have the special difficulty. And I noticed that a lot of you actually had trouble with this. So if you guys did, like let me know and maybe I'll make a video on it. Or maybe I will do like, uh, maybe we'll do a stream. I don't know. All right, but otherwise it's gonna be pretty spicy. I believe we get Reno shards this time. Yes, we do. And Erico Valentine shards. Reno, especially with the release of her UE, I think it's going to look a little bit spicy again. And so for all of you Reno lovers, rejoice. All right. And so here is the next batch of the UEs that are going to be released very, very soon. I've actually made a whole video dedicated to unique equipment for this batch where uh, Erico is a freaking physical queen. I'm sorry, Kari. And I'm saying go man Kari, but really Kari still sticks around. So yeah. But if you guys do refuse to go and watch that video, it's Essentially, the TLDR is Erico number one, Anna number two, Akari number three in terms of priority. And then you can kind of do whatever you want, like not Mitsuki, not Shizuru, Yori if you're a freaking whale and you're a bit ballsy, Reno if you're into PvP, but otherwise Jun and definitely Shinobu are safe picks. And obviously, my guys, there are a lot more intricacies in terms of like, you know, levels and stuff. So I do encourage you guys to check that video out. All right. And so with that being said, let's move on. Oh my god. Oh, oh. I never thought I'd see you again. I never thought I would see you again. Oh, baby. I should have expected it, to be honest, with the normal quest times three. And so, my guys, welcome to Euphoria. Welcome to the heaven of drops. We are getting a hard quest drops times three. And this is going to run for six days. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. But to be honest, there isn't too much left to say about this, except like, oh my god, I might just like, you know. <laughs> okay, so dungeon mana times two. Very, very standard stuff. Not going to talk about that. But otherwise, that is pretty much it for all of the content that is going to be coming up. But something that I do want to mention is this guy up here again. Uh, where is it? The special update number one. I honestly do think like all jokes aside that there will be a special update number two. It's probably going to be featuring stuff like Mwimi and then potentially more of these login events, which is freaking cool. And honestly, if you guys have made it up to this part of the video and you're new, I really would highly suggest starting this game like now. This is quite a significant giveaway and like being able to 
re-roll for Valentine Shizuru is pretty insane because Valentine Shizuru is essentially one of the most important CB units for like the next few months, even potentially a year. And she only comes back one year later, very similar to the dilemma of Summer Kiaru. And so yeah, my guys, if you are new and I know I made that 2022 guide only like two days ago, yes, if you can, re-roll for both Makoto and Valentine Shizuru. But realistically speaking, like Valentine Shizuru is going to be a powerhouse. You really do want her. All right, with that being said, I think that's it for this guy over here, uh, Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations. <laughs> and so my guys, again, welcome to the first year anniversary of Princess Connect. But you already know what it is. Secret question time. Tell me, tell me, tell me how hyped you are for this freaking event. That's it. That's the secret question. Just freaking hype it up in the freaking comments. I just want to see hype, to be honest. And so guys, if you leave your hype down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that because it means you've made it up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, then please consider a like. And if you did want to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as your girl Gomen Yui once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.